Warning, this program is intended for adults of legal drinking age. Whiskey is consumed in disgust. The intent is to educate our palates on the differences of whiskey flavors and not an intent to get drunk. Please drink responsibly. Hi everybody, and welcome to I Fucking Love Whiskey. I'm Andrew Pierce, and guess what? I fucking love whiskey. What? And as always, I'm here with my co-host, Mr. Joseph Limbaugh. Hey, everybody. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> good good start that's a good start right there hey in case you didn't know i fucking love whiskey <laughs> and uh we have uh, our delightful friend very the very talented uh, aaron harvey Yay. oh i fracking like whiskey how's that, how's that? <laughs> <laughs> i freling luck love, love whiskey. Yeah. oh that was the next one i was yeah. gonna go to yep mm -hmm. yep that's that's nice. for my wife she loves uh farscape like loves yep. loves it watches it over and over again loves it sort of one yeah. of my neighbors was in one episode Oh yeah, which oh, one? Yeah. Uh, it was the one where they like land in a farm, basically. No, which neighbor? No, the, na <laughs> the neighbor was it, is, is. Was it your neighbor moved. with the red hair, or the neighbor that like <laughs> I was mowing the lawn all early every morning? Like, oh, I hate that that one. No, this was uh, at Park La Brea, where there there, there was no lawn mowing by by residents, <laughs> at least. So yeah. Cool. Well, Aaron, you're, you're an excellent show. graphic designer, <laughs> and uh, Aaron did the, when we have our favorite whiskey alert come up, uh, Aaron oh, yeah, created that right. for us in, the, in a few seconds and threw it up for us, uh, which is really great. Um, and uh, you're also a Trek expert. You've got a, a Trek podcast on. Uh, I should also mention Aaron yes. has designed art for both of my Kickstarters, uh, Postcard Dungeons and Postcard Galactic. He's uh, like his, his icons are amazing. Like that was for Postcard Galactic. I was like, these are, you're, they were so great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I love doing like icons and uh, kind of usability sort of things where like, you know, just you're really good at it. And that's <laughs> like that is a rare skill. Like my other artist, uh, Kristen, like mentioned, she's like, oh, God, Aaron's icons are so amazing. So <gasps> that's like, how I can move to New Zealand. I can get I, like icon, be an icon designer. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm sure they need that. <laughs> Hey, well, why don't uh, yeah. we continue this conversation over um, a little beverage that I tend to enjoy? What? Yeah. We're having a beverage today? Let's do it. Ooh. Let's have four. Milkshakes? Um, yeah. <laughs> Our first one is this. I love how it just kind of floated up. <laughs> it's like a, <laughs> like a ghost, like spooky. It's Halloween. It's spooky whiskey. Look, it's spirits, right? Oh, yeah. Figure, oh, spirits and whiskey next week. Yeah. I think we got, a, we got a theme. It's got an orange label. Yeah. It's an orange label. It's the... The first edition, Kayo, I believe it's pronounced whiskey. Kayo, yeah, uh, Kayo. Heated Japanese whiskey. So um, this uh, this distillery is interesting um, that it uh, doesn't make its own new make spirit. So it buys new make spirit from other distilleries, puts it in their own casks, and ages it. So this was aged first in a in a traditional um, uh, red wine cask, I think, at first, and then it got transferred to this Japanese oak to finish it. This Mizunara oak whiskey. Uh, from Japan, it's refracting a bit from the green screen. I know it's like realizing to, my glasses. You'd be able to invisible. see it. Yeah, it's just refracting from the. I think that's the white word refracting. Very, very purdy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's so subtle. Mm. That is real subtle and interesting. What is that? That's. There's like almost like I don't know, like something sweet in there, like a. I was also gonna say like rice wine vinegar, which I know is like not what it is, but there's some like an element of that or something. Yeah, a little bit of something like that. It definitely has an interesting, like, it has a, some an interesting nose that I've not encountered before, and I can't quite put my finger on it. It's really, it's not, it doesn't knock you over either. It's just, no. Yeah. Now, this could be, um, what is that? It's like, it must be from the oak that they use, that, that uh, Japanese oak, which is apparently very hard to make into barrels and a little too porous. And so you get a lot of evaporation hmm. from it. It definitely is like an organic smell, like a flower or like almost like a scented candle. Now I have been lighting scented candles here, so it might be, <laughs> that might be what I'm getting it from, but I wonder if no, there's something left over from the there's, oak. There's, or the... there's definitely something in it. It's an organic smell. 
from this. They get any, yeah. Do you have any information like beyond just that it was the oak barrel um, or the Japanese oak? Yeah, they, they started it in French oak, which is European oak, which is very traditional in a, in a wine cask, and then finished it in this hmm. um, this Japanese oak. Uh, this it's, it's a, almost and a hey, flower. It's uh, yeah, yeah it's fit, it smells like a flower. If you're in the chat, feel free to ask questions or say stuff. There's nothing. I, I don't see anything in there yet, so I'm just you know mentioning to people. I'm, yeah. I'm going in. Don't okay. talk while let's, I'm drinking. Let's do it. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Wow. I'm definitely getting that peat in there, but it's not. Yeah. Not like it's overwhelming. Okay. No. It starts off more sweet and then kind of ends with the smokiness. Lisette. But not. I mean, hey, it's Lisette. This is one of the smoothest <laughs> peated whiskeys I think I've ever had. Like wow. it's. It is really it, tasty. Yeah, this is I feel like this is a peated whiskey you could give to like people who are like, I'm not I don't like peat. And they'd be like, I kind of like this, you know, this is this uh, under the radar. They did tell me I that the good. first edition is a Highland, uh, sorry, um, an Orkney peat. So from where Highland Park comes from, it's that that same kind of peat. I'm glad you I was going to ask, where do they get their peat? Is there peat in Japan? I mean, there must be right. I mean, I think there's Island. peat all around the world, but the Japanese do like to import uh, Scottish peat. Hmm. I wonder what it would be like. It was like I do. I wish there was like a series of, of peated whiskeys that just had peat from different places. Like, you know, like I bet there's a lot of peat in Florida, you know, right? One would guess. It's swampy. It's weird. It's almost like <laughs> there's something <laughs> like <laughs> almost acidic to start with. Like sweet, but it's just, I don't know. I don't have the vocabulary maybe to. Yeah, I mean, it's, oh, what is that? There, there's. There is a burn to it. Like for the finish, there's a lot of burn. It's, yeah. The nose is so, so, so calm. And then you take a sip of it and it's like, oh, you're getting, you're getting some heat in that. Like for a yeah. 40, 46%, like it's surprising the amount of, mm -hmm. but it, but it's still at a level where I'm like, I'm not overwhelmed by it. I'm just like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. This has got a great balance of, of flavors. Yeah. Yeah. I would, oh. I would probably. I mean, it's what you'd expect yep, yes. from a Japanese distillery is that they 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 are so good at refining the flavors and really, you know, refining the process to get it just bang. I'm still trying to there is that whatever that one thing is that it's 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 elusive. I can't quite. Mm -hmm. I'm not like a super taster or anything, but there's like. Hmm. Well, it is, it is like kind of like a very a very mild sweet wine though. Like you, you yeah. mentioned a rice wine before, but I think any sort right. of like almost like a rosé or just a like a like a just a but a very mild sweet wine, something with a bit yeah. of a floral note to it. Mm. Mm. I like that. Just the after mm -hmm. the like kind of that oh, mirin the journey that you take as you drink it through the <clears throat> different levels. That's you, almost you, like, like a said, honeysuckle. Like if you know when you were a kid mm. and you would pull the honeysuckles and and suck on them, right? As that's what this reminds me of. Almost that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can see. There's that. definitely something organic, and it's like and it's floral, and I don't want to ah. put water in this because it's so. I feel like like this is laser so focused. Yeah, yeah, I feel like this is like laser folk. Like someone has spent a lot of time getting this to this flavor, and mm -hmm. water is it seems like an insult to this. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wonder, I wonder what it would do to the, to the burn urine in the chat. I don't know what oh, yeah. is. It's it's uh, a form of rice wine. Yeah. Is it? Is it? I no just use that today. Here. This is this is no. malt, water, and yeast. Just like I'm putting a drop. I made in. sushi yesterday, so I used mirin. Oh. Oh, I didn't. Do you normally put like a little bit of mirin in the in the rice for sushi? I've I've not made. Sushi yeah, you before. have to. Yeah, you need to like that's what makes it taste like sushi rice. It's a, a rice know. wine v vinegar. And you can use mirin. You can use a bunch of other stuff. Um, not a bunch of other stuff. There's... I get more heat in the nose with oh, yeah. water, which makes yeah. no sense. I have my little thing to add water. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like something was lost. How much are you putting water in? Or how much water? Or how much we science just put, are you? We put like one drop of one science. Drop. Because okay. it's so, there's only a little bit. I have one of these. You can always put more in. You can never take it out. <laughs> that, that's a very accurate measurement you have. Yeah, that, that is some actual science going on right yeah. there. 
That's what happens when you've been in the hospital enough that you have your own supplies at home. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yep. It makes it really. Wow. I really yeah. want to like uh, smell the Japanese oak that this was that the barrels were. You know what I mean? I want to like smell the oak itself. You know what I mean? Like I love the smell of dried wood, and I just I wonder if that would if I'd be like, oh, that's it, or you know. It's interesting. The water kind of it definitely dulls the that first note to almost like not anything, and then the rest of it is is the same pretty much. You get yeah. the burn, and then the, the aftertaste. I, I miss I miss that first little yeah floral peak. Off yeah, that doesn't you don't. Up. You I'm don't not going to put water in based on no. based on the <laughs> your two valuable data points. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> don't add water. <laughs> I do like I'm the nose, though. Never... It's funny because it's such a mild nose, but I could definitely sit in it for, you know, it's nice. Yeah, it's it's oh, it's really nice to visit that nose. What what house would you build in here? What house would I build in here? This would be a. A very like a very unassuming house. Like I think like light, um, clean. Um, I see like white walls. Uh, I see um, a very simple kind of I don't know. Just just a nice. There's a what's that? What's that word I'm thinking of? It's like um, not uh, minimalist. Nah, it's I forget. It's like I don't know. I I can't think of what it is. It's like a it's like a, a, a architecture word or like a. I don't know, hmm. but yeah, just be a very, a very, you know, a lot of light, a lot of windows, I think. Um, and somewhere, somewhere open, but near water, I think, you know, and there'd be like a very unassuming, I think, floral garden, like a flower mm -hmm. garden out front. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. Thinking like one of Frank Lloyd Wright's, um, uh, his students, because Frank Lloyd one of his students, like, yeah, because the his Cause, stuff, his stuff to be was a little, like, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But I could see one of his students taking some of that and then, you know, making almost like a glass box in a way. And I think this house, I would put it in New Zealand. I think this is, for me, it's like yeah. somewhere in New Zealand. Yeah. Almost one of those houses you see made out of storage containers, you know. <laughs> I watch a, a show on YouTube that has the, uh, like, the tiny house movement. Yeah. Yeah. It's very popular. <laughs> it's a, every, nearly every single tiny house. It's like, oh, and then we had, uh, our parents gave us the land. Like literally nobody ever pays for their land. <laughs> it's just like, like you can't watch that and actually get a, an accurate idea of how much it would cost. Oh, in fact, one of them, somebody said that they actually had to, to look around and they put notes in the paper and, and wow. made a deal with somebody. It was just like, does that make it a tiny house then? I don't know. Yeah. Apparently <laughs> the housing like market is crazy. Like my brother said he was like, um, he, he wanted to buy a house like and it was on the market for five days and someone else just snatched it up immediately. So, wow. Yeah. Oh, really like that. That yeah. was a nice start. Ooh, very good. Wow. And also nice to have a Japanese whiskey on the show. I mean, we normally drink <sighs> scotch. So what well, we have been. Mm. Well, we're, we're we'll, be, we'll, be bran we'll be branching out more. But yeah. yeah, I think so. We're going back to Scotland right now for the next yeah. three whiskey. Because um, this isn't I fucking love scotch. It's I fucking love whiskey. I, fucking whiskey. <laughs> I don't care where it's from. Hey, Puck 90. Hi, Allison. Hey, Allison. Mm. Hola. Asparagus, hello. Greetings. Salutations. Well, be in I think the a new. lot of us think a small house right now would be terrible to be shut up in for all of this. But if there was a lot of outdoor area and it was kind of a bit rural yeah. and you could go out for a walk, like maybe down to the ocean, like I feel like that yeah, house yeah. is near the ocean. Like that, right. I think you could walk down to the ocean from that house. Okay. Okay. New Zealand does get snow though. It has winters, so uh, it might not be. Sometimes winters are nice. And I was thinking kind of like Canada. So <laughs> I'm from Canada. The There's side. no such thing as a nice winter. Oh, I'm from Portland, here. Oregon. I'm, I mean, yeah. The thing I don't like is lots of rain. So yeah, yeah. well, that's fair enough. Having seasons I was across is the river kind of Van nice. In Vancouver. If, yeah, if the seasons are reasonable. Yeah, across from Vancouver, yeah. I mean, that's where I grew up. <sighs> well, let's move on to our next okay. whiskey. Okay. If you yeah. say so, I guess I'll drink more whiskey. Well, I, I do. <laughs> hey, wait, Andrew, I wanted to tell you something. What? Um... I fucking love whiskey. Oh, it's 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 good that you feel like this is a safe place that you can come out and say this thing. I just to want to say it. Yeah, that's nice. It's not something you can really tell a lot of people. Nope. No. Yeah, you don't. You definitely don't want to do that in a public forum with other people able to hear. No, no. no it's pretty taboo. I'm, I um, hope you're not using your real name. You know, because I don't want. <laughs> 
to track you down. I am Clem Shermanopolipus. 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 Yes. Yeah. You're Greek. Rolls off the name. Sure. Rolls off the tongue. I mean, it rolls, rolls off, the, off name. the name. One whiskey. One whiskey. That's it. Um, look at this. This this looks like an old school. This looks like my dad's. Oh. Edredauer. Gotch. Edredauer. Yes. Edredauer. Would you like some Edredauer, boy? This is, my grandfather this is would have purportedly one of the cutest distilleries in Scotland. It's got the, the beautiful little white buildings and streams with mm. nice little arch bridges over it. It's it's really cute and small and gorgeous, and it's actually um, owned by Signatory. Um, and this is uh, distilled 18th October 2006 and bottled 11th April 2017. Cast and number you, So you've never bottles. been to this distillery? I have not. Uh, we went to another distillery in the same town, Blair Athol. Or in the same rough vicinity, but we we couldn't get to Andrew Dower when it was open. But look at the color of that thing. Yeah, I love yeah. the color. I have a question for you, Andrew. How many distilleries have you been to? Like total, can you say? Mm. I think I'll try to get it close, but it will. Oh, it doesn't. We've been to as north much, of so. yeah twenty six, but there's been repeats. I think my there we go. Oh, that's that's pretty. I like that color. It's really nice. I think about yeah. I'll have to do I'll have to do an accurate count, but you know. At least, you know, the nine on Isla and uh, yeah, a bunch all over the place. There's only nine distilleries on Isla. I I keep getting. uh... Just ask the chat. Remember, we don't have to like do the thing anymore. We can do a chat. How many distilleries are there on Isla chat? If only there was some sort of massive internet (laughs) database that we could. (laughs) Yeah, there's nine. There's nine. All right. Sometimes Aaron is in the chat. One is been one in the <laughs> look, and he's he's here in person now. Yeah, he's here in person. He that means I can't look things up. <laughs> he's excited to be here. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, yeah, that's for other people. Right, good. Yeah. Oh, wait. Um, Puck, how long were you Puck gone says on your trip? 4, 4,578. I feel like that might be a bit <laughs> inaccurate. I don't think that's and Lieutenant accurate. Bodie Cooper says there are 47. These stories. are not, these that's, are not true. Uh, those are not accurate numbers. Do, do not trust 47 is a track number. Oh, so. boy. Oh, boy. <sighs> yeah, it, does, it doesn't say what. Oh man! That's natural color, so that must be a sherry cask. Yeah, it's got oh. that smells so sweet. Like that is this is this definitely has a sherry smell to it. But yeah. I mean, I'm gonna. It's funny where oh, the man. last one was really super subtle. This is not yeah. subtle. This smells <laughs> like this smells like licorice to me, but a really like oh, a very yeah. a delicious like a like you know how li- like black licorice a lot of people are like, ah this is like this is the most delicious black licorice you can smell right here or anise just like yeah. actual you know fennel. Sure, but this this to me smells like kind of a, like a, a black licorice hard candy is what ah, it smells like. Okay, specifically, I can see that. This like it. smells like a well oiled mahogany boardroom or library. Yes, also that with leather chairs there and uh... yeah, like a, you're sitting in a fancy leather chair. That's just you know that smell of leather. Yeah, for sure. Definitely some leather in that. A little bit of a little bit of like wood stain that's like you know on a nice uh, mm-hmm. nice oak table yeah, right it's, in front it's of that you. That oil, that oil, wood stain, definitely. Yeah, it reminds me of my grandfather's office. No, oh, yeah, he had like he had like the the big desk and everything like that. It, it had an office at home. That's actually when I first tasted whiskey because I thought it was apple juice. Oh no, <laughs> that was not a good good choice back know. then. I wouldn't yeah. think. I think it may have taken. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's what it uh, may have taken me that long. Bodie to Cooper get back says. To- we tasting. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hmm. Wow. It really shut yeah. us up. It did. Hmm? It shut us up shut tasting us up. this. We're just like, hmm. we're all like, oh, where have I? It's we all a- traveled to another world. Yeah. A world of <laughs> a world of flavor. Well, I mean, I've had this bottle for what? Three years now and it's down to here so i must like this thing yeah 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 it's it definitely has that that licorice component yeah and it's hmm. syrupy too like there's a uh, molasses i think flavor to it that's it is this is one of those candy store uh whiskeys you know what i mean yeah, i was headed towards a gingerbread house or something like that for some reason sure yeah yeah, I don't know if I would build a house on this. I do feel like this is like a like an old. It's just a room. It's like an old study 
Um, but outside, you can see outside, but you're not going Sunny. outside. This is an entirely <laughs> indoor whiskey. You can see outside. There's a beautiful, lush mm. out, a landscape out there, and it's raining. But you're inside. You're by the fire. You're drinking this, mm. and and you're sitting in a nice leather chair and blanket uh, over your knees. Yeah, that maybe a blanket over your knees. There's like a cat, and you're like, yes, dog at your or, feet. Yes, all of those there's, things. Yeah, and there's been a fireplace that has been used for many, many years. That's right. it's sort of like that left that smell that's just lingering there even if you aren't using it yeah 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 maybe there's maybe there's a, a s'more nearby that you made in the fireplace maybe i've gone too i might have gone too, far. <laughs> gone too far yeah i've gone too far i i um i went camping a lot as a kid and we had s'mores all the time and i do not like s'mores don't don't like them at all i find marshmallows well, that's because that's because you're canadian canadians don't like s'mores people know that is that true i think that's a, that's a true <laughs> No one in Canada likes s'mores. Like, this like is the part of the show where Let's we make up facts. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if we check with our group, I'm sure that they'll have some accurate information. Oh, they chat. will. They, they are. Chat? What about like, Canadians and food <laughs> dislikes? Yeah. I feel I like think, you could probably find anything that you want online to, to prove or disprove what you want. I, I want to play a game with chat where we ask them questions and they lie to us. That's the game that I want to play today is everything they say should be a complete lie. Yeah. Uh, Canadians what's, hate hey, Tim Hortons. Yeah. Hey, what's the capital? What's the oh? They, they just said that. Hey, <laughs> no, that's, that's what I, I read. Oh, it. Read oh okay. okay. All right. Yes, I'm not psychic. <laughs> oh man, that's actually true too. One less toenail were. than other humans. Yeah, that's how we're identified. What is the capital of Canada? Lying chat. Yes. Yeah. In, after, in fact, in Canada, there is no such thing as Canadian bacon. It's called back bacon. People. It's called bacon. It's like Brazil nuts and Brazil are nuts. Isn't that like the 1986 uh, exposition? Oh, we got a USA chant going. <laughs> uh, the biggest lie of all. <laughs> That's the control. <laughs> the irony of that. <laughs> the capital of Canada is Beaumont, Mississippi. <laughs> wow. That seems right. That seems right. That's what I, I was that, taught. That's what I, I was taught when I was I young. Believe, what if there was some weird just diplomatic thing in the past and that was true? Like <laughs> the can, like they... The Canadians had to fucking go to Beaumont, Mississippi to like do any government business just because of some weird like treaty in like 1829 or something, you know, that'd be awesome. Sounds good. Beaumont does sound pretty Beaumont. French. Sounds very French. Beaumont. Beaumont. Welcome to Beaumont, Beaumont Mississippi. Oh, are you English? English? Sorry, we'll that... call it Pretty Mountain then. <laughs> Welcome to Pretty Mountain. <laughs> Beautiful mountain. I think this is like one of the first whiskeys that has like a little bit of a smoky flavor to it. I actually like because normally I don't. That's not a huge thing for me. Like I don't oh, love this. Like, is oh, it tastes like a fireplace. Whiskey. Yeah, hmm? it is. A, it is a step towards more flavor than the last one. Like it's bolder. Oh, yeah, but it's still very smooth. Like it's mm -hmm. just I could I, I could drink way more of this than I would want to. Than I would plan on drinking. <laughs> you should. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would want to drink all of it. I'm that's a miss. I misspoke. I could drink more of it than I planned on drinking, but I would want to drink every drop. All right, are oh. we sciencing this? I'll science it because you guys did the last one. Yeah, okay. Okay. you let us know. Um, while Have you, you, that, you drank some. Have you scienced this before, Andrew? I don't think I have because when I drink on my own, I don't do science. I just take it as it is. Um, <laughs> but I did want to tell people um, that this episode is kind of a nod towards uh, Aaron Harvey's other passion besides graphic uh, design. Uh, track and so if you watch the whiskeys we're having the first one was ko this one is an edradour the next one's a rasse and the final one is a tormor and if you take the first initials of all those you get k e r t but if you spin that around i'm breaking the code for everybody you know you could have found this out on your own it's tracked you know come on let this show be a mini escape room andrew <laughs> <laughs> oh that's that's a good idea like a whiskey escape room I think you have hit Why on something. would you escape? Yeah. No, I don't well, that's, see that's, it. That's, that's just it. That's how you win. You're like, no, you don't get out of this. Look at all the barrels behind uh, Joseph. He's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I like the nose so far. Like, I feel like the water did some really cool stuff to the nose. Yeah. It gave it a weird sort of almost like it brought the sweetness down a bit and gave it like a richness. I, li I like what it did. Should we try it? Okay. I'm going in. All right. Um, but. Uh, before the show, uh, Thad, our techni technical um, uh, technical technician, what is it? What do you what do you what do you technical call director? It? He's doing the tech. He's for our us. technical technician. He's our technical. He's technician. our technician in charge of techno technology. 
<laughs> oh, the technical director. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Thad. Um, he was saying, well, what's the name of the show? Is it really Kurt? That doesn't make sense to me. What, why don't you call it Beam Me Whiskey, Scotty? And I'm like, oh, that's... that's oh, so oh, yeah. That you can vote or, you know. I like that. We'll see. Wow. That was one of the, the like, the, that episode. The flavor, to me, not as great with the water. Like, it's not oh, bad. But it's it's not a hor no it's not a horrible change it's a change but I liked it better without the water a bit it's but it's kind yeah. of a it's kind of a lateral little little lower in my opinion but it's not it it's not dulls the bite on it at the end yeah dulls the bite takes takes the the nose I really like the flavor not so much I would not recommend water for this but the nose it just gives it a nice delicate like there's more just yeah. kind of rich flavors in there I think it is interesting rich smells it does open up the nose. As they say, but no, I was gonna that episode of Star Trek where you know where Scotty's trying to get the Andromeda drunk, you know what I mean, and, and pulls out all the different stuff. I love that. That's one of my favorite. Me and my my brother both, you know, and they drink the you know what's this? Oh, it's green and all that stuff. And then yeah. it's like, I've been saving. He pulls out the scotch and yeah. My brother has a Bardis. He has a, 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 like a Tardis. It's like a it's like a looks like the Tardis, and you open it up, and there's a bar inside, and then he collects. that is awesome. He collects like the bottles from Star Trek. Like he, the, the, and they're, oh, really? they're quite hard to find. Yeah. Yeah. Like those traditional bottles. And they even like mm -hmm. through like Deep Space Nine and other shows like there's all bottles. Of these, and, yeah. Yep. And it's interesting. Like he's, he's obsessed with the plot, like the props in Star Trek, especially the bottles. Yeah. That's what they did on uh, Lower Decks. They had a lot of it, like the different bottles from out the series. And I, the one of them I finally found, it was the episode, the name escapes me right now with the, uh, one person was black and white. The other person was white and black. Um, let that right. be your last battlefield. And it was like this thin blue bottle. And it was just like, that's where it was from. So I really, you know what? Like whenever I watch Lower Decks, I wish I was sitting there. I want to watch Lower Decks with like a commentary from Aaron Harvey because I know <laughs> that I'm missing so many. Like I'm a Trek fan and I feel like I know a lot of deep lore, but no, nothing compared to you. And it's like, I just want to like, go like, what was, what was, I want to possibly be like, Aaron, what, what, what <laughs> five things did they just like reveal in that? Like, what did they what go back and watch have? our episodes and watch it with the show? <laughs> like yeah, that's we have our Easter track, eggs. They, they break also. it down every week. Like yeah. I never, I, I didn't should watch, just, the I should just mute series? the show and want to listen to your, yeah. yeah you right. your commentary. <laughs> no, don't do that. But yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that was actually kind of a secret plug for your show. That that's what oh, I was doing there. But I do, I do want to do that. On noon and on Saturdays. Uh, yeah, yes. that's great. I did uh, see and then on Tuesdays as an audio podcast. Images from all during the, the animated series and we're going like, oh, look, this is this thing and that's that thing. And look, yeah. they brought out this. And yeah. So. That was a lot of fun. And I also painted myself into a corner to the point where I was like, I'm doing work at 1130 at night, you know, <laughs> like right before. And then the next morning, and like up again, finishing it up. Uh, but yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. I think that there was just so much. Part of me was like, save something for season two. But there's so much stuff in Trek lore that they can pull out that it's, you know, I don't think. That oh, yeah. Sense. I mean, they've been doing the show. That's one of the problems, I think, with creating a, sh a Trek show is like there's it, 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 there's so much canon that you can kind of trip over your your own canon, so to speak. Right. It's like and that's one yeah. of the reasons they in Discovery went further than anything has ever been shown right. before. So or with the movies where they're like, we're changing the timeline. This is a yeah. new timeline. Things might be different than the other one. This is different. Right. Except we bring Con back. Asparagus really is horrible movie. Never and they're not the first ones to do that. There's Crisis on Infinite Earths, Earths, mm -hmm. DC, you know, and they yep. did that. They, they actually did a version of that, you know, in the, the television universe, too. Which is actually really fun. I mean, because you got to see, uh, you know, people from that. Uh, what was it? Uh, the the show from the 90s with the the women, the Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey. Yeah, they had an, an actress from that. They had uh, the guy from Smallville came back, you know, so we had like. Didn't they have some also like some connections to the 60s Batman? Yes, they had um, Robin from the 60s Batman walking a dog. Yep. That's they had awesome. the the 89 Batman. Uh, so they had some guy like reading a newspaper and it has, you know, the pictures from from that movie. Uh just there was so many things. And they had the movie version of The Flash from the current movies. That's what I think that was the best kept secret because a lot of these other things kind of got spilled. But mm -hmm. nobody found out that, you know, Ezra Miller was going to be 
uh, in the, the movie. <laughs> I feel like we live in an era of ultimate television where we are basically calling back to actual television. And the best shows are about television itself, like community and uh, like, well, Rick and Morty. Like, I feel like Dan Harmon has a handle on that of like, this is why well, television is looking at television and in a mirror into infinity. You know what I mean? Like, Well, the person who worked on um, Mike McMahon worked on uh, Rick and Morty, too. Mm. Who did who did Lowers decks? <laughs> Lowers decks. Wow, this is. I believe maybe this is hitting me. We're only halfway there. <laughs> halfway. Know. We're only halfway there, Aaron. I don't see any evidence of it. You seem hey. the same to me. <laughs> That's either what? good or bad. I don't know. It's good. It's good. <clears throat> it's always it's always good. Whiskey number three. Yeah, where are we at? I wonder what is this magical substance? This as all whiskeys are. It's floating up again. <laughs> um, this is from Isle of Rasse, which is um, a little island a... between Skye and the mainland of Scotland. And this mm, is called wait. While We Wait. Um, I like they they're they're trying to be Isla by saying we're Rasse. Rasse, the Isle of Rasse. Um, new distillery just opened up. Uh, they are currently aging their whiskey. I think the first uh, whiskey they'll have, because it has to be in a cask for three years and a day, um, will be out in November. I believe this is my second bottle of this stuff because what they did is they got um, two different single malts from an, uh, another distillery, the same distillery. So this is still a single malt. Um, and then they vatted them together. One of these was peated, one was not peated and they, they blended it and it's delightful. The rumor is that it's probably from uh, Highland Park that they got the, the whiskey that they made this out of, but it shows that they're really good at vatting and, and creating a flavor profile because this is, slightly peated and really nice so uh once again just really quick what's the difference between vatting and a blend like vatting is like oh we didn't blend this we vatted it right vatting is where you take the output from a single distillery and put it together and marry it together and so it's so not like if blended. we drew a venn diagram this is like all distilleries and this is like one distillery, which there's various like casks within that distillery. Right. The vatting is just this distillery. You just blended, distillery. but just we're just blending from this distillery. Yeah. So wow, this, from this this smells amazing. And yeah, for the price. Oh wow. Really? It really like I'm, knocks you over. You see you this. Place. I might have to get some of that. Is this Worthwhile available? Up. You said for the price. Is it is it available? Um, I saw it at KNL just last night because uh, I was looking at KNL's website because I browse whiskeys all the time. You gotta let me I'm, know this stuff, Andrew. When this, I'm a mental when case. When there's stuff that's you know, I don't know. you're <laughs> you're not telling me those. you're not telling me because you're buying them all up yourself. <laughs> but you realize if I buy some of this stuff when this is all over, you can come over and then we I will give you as much of my whiskey as you you know you can drink any of my whiskey you want, Andrew. Okay. This is um, 44, 44, 45 bucks, essentially, $44.99 at um, k &L. They have more than 36 at their main warehouse. They're not running out of it anytime soon, but that for 44 bucks, that is awesome price performance. That smells great. Yeah. I'm not getting a read on this at all. Like, I don't know. It's, very, reason, it's, it's very buttery to me. Like, I feel like there's like buttery mm. popcorn in there. Like, you I, know, like a... Mm -hmm. mm. Just definitely a savory rich up over a wood stove maybe yeah because i think when i when i first took the the lid off that was where it was just like it was almost too strong and i'm like oh okay now i it's almost like my my uh sensory overload or something like that yeah <clears throat> well you can load is it there's only so many chemicals in your like olfactory like sensors right and if you smell too much then it just it all becomes kind of a blur after a yeah while. that's kind of like Trying to take a break in between. Yeah. The chat is still making up <laughs> random facts, which I love. As I bend down to, to smell the glass, I smell my microphone instead. So that's good. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it smells like my breath. Oh, that's yeah. nice. <laughs> that is nice. That butter note continues. Yeah. Mm. It, yeah. It's one of those things where the nose and the flavor are consistent. Like sometimes you taste, you know, you taste something and you're like, what? I wasn't expecting it. But this is like, hey, man, remember what you smelled? That's what you're tasting. And yeah. I like that. It's, oh, it's nice. And it, yeah, there is like a hmm, it's bread <laughs> almost. Like there's like a, you know, baking bread or something. Yep. Yes. Yep. This is, yeah, it's like a nice, a nice bite of a fresh, 
baguette or like more like a French mm-hmm. bread, like something l- yeah, yeah. lighter and, or, you know, maybe maybe a croissant. Like, yeah, it's that rich, light, buttery flavor. Mm-hmm. Um, Bodie so Cooper gave us a fact that your nose gets drunk from smelling and then falls asleep, which is why you're having trouble. Getting ah, it. of course. I feel like we've just unleashed a like chaos in, <laughs> in the chat by doing this. Like people are like, we get a lie? Yeah. <laughs> they, they're, they're happy with us lying? Yes. Yeah. We're never going to get facts out of them again. This is why the internet was made. (laughs) Yeah, it is, unfortunately, (laughs) apparently. That's what the internet is best at, lying about things. I I I really love this with you. I really do, too. the, the, the the, The second part of it. Yeah, I could just, yeah. It has such a nice nose, too. Like, I could just nose it for, And it's so unique. Like, like once again, this is like, how do you... This is so different than any other whiskey I've had. Thankfully, we're doing this now and not like three weeks ago when there was the fires where it'd be like, I don't know, I smell fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all I can smell. <clears throat> yeah, for me, this is like... If this was like a Scotch Malt Whiskey Society whiskey, it would be, it would be like uh buttery bake off or something you know what i mean like that's what it would be called because it has it, it, this has the distinctness of that sort of flavor to me this has the the dis- which is like a compliment right i love yeah. scotch malt whiskey society this I this to me is is like yeah it's like a it's that sort of a whiskey i dropped my butter biscuits in the fire yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> buttery buttery blast babe <laughs> they love their alliteration over there mm-hmm. yeah I'm trying to place the end of it. There's something familiar, but I'm not, it's not coming up. You know what this is? You know what? It, there's a thing about this I want to say, and it's this. This is the favorite whiskey I've ever had. Yeah! Really? Favorite whiskey of the... <laughs> Whichever, wherever it is. Oh. There it goes. That's like a handshake from Paul Hollywood right there when we say that. <laughs> Speaking of bread and buttery stuff, you know. Do you guys watch The the Great British Bake Off? Uh, I saw it a long time ago when it was actually on BBC. I haven't seen it since. Yeah. Some of the people who were on uh, IQ, that show that was hosted by... Or QI, sorry. That was hosted by... I can't remember his name now. It's horrible. Uh, Anyway, some of their guests were on that show as hosts. They're still lying in there. They're still yeah, there's a lot of they're lies. just lying. Like once we've opened <laughs> that like gate, Stan Lee. we can't, yes. can't close it again. It's like I look over there and it's just like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, Stephen Fry, whiskey That's and lies is what it's going to have to be called. Whiskey and lies. Please, no, I no. can't. <laughs> so um, I have not put any science in this, and no. I don't. I don't want to. Yeah. Well, I've got more, so I'll I'll be the guinea pig. But I'm going to try it first to re- remember. Yeah. Rem- remember, 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 <laughs> the fourth of December. <laughs> <laughs> I do wish in in we were, uh, Andrew and I were playing uh, Bridge Crew uh, earlier, and I do wish you could flick people off in that game. I mean, I know why you can't, but you really want to. <laughs> Yeah. You can point. And there's a lot of pointing. Yeah. yeah, a lot of pointing. And so, so people were trying to do this. They're like making a fist and then pointing and trying to like. Flip yeah, that was Joseph. I did that. I came up yeah. with that. Yeah. This guy, not you, but yeah. me. <laughs> I, when I said you know people were doing that, and then I realized no, why am I why am I trying to hide? It was just people. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Puck ninety says the that the British baking show was too intense for her. I wonder if she's still lying. <laughs> How. Like it's the most delightful, friendly real show? reality oh. show in the world. How can that be too intense for you? Repair shop is just it's I don't think it's, I've never seen that. It's what is it? ASM? ASR? What is that? ASM? It's ASR? ASMR? ASMR. ASMR. That's what it that's what I'm trying to think of. Thank you. Um it's it's just that for the eyes and the ears. Like that's what repair shop is. It is Is it a like a cable show or I uh, where is it, Puck ninety? I I gave up cable. BBC apparently. So, oh, she says it's the most uh, calm show ever. Huh? I'll to, oh, well, well, okay. I misunderstood. She says. Assuming it's, really it's real. Yeah. Uh, no, it's real. My 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 buddy Doug Morenci, um, he also loves Bob Ross. He loves just hearing the paintbrush going, mm. and he like puts it on to fall asleep to. 
and he's a big fan of repair shop. So yeah. Now that I've now they've been doing like VR, like I want there there should be a repair shop in VR where you could just watch people repair stuff in VR, or like a painting show where you're like standing there watching them paint in VR. You know. There's a guy that I watch. Um, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I don't know if I actually really ever knew it. Um, he does uh, restoration of paintings. He's in Chicago, and it's just amazing to watch. We actually talked about this earlier today. Uh, that you watch say. them take. Huh? Yeah, you were. <laughs> it was on the on the podcast earlier. Uh, you watch him take the varnish off of that has been there, you know, for hundreds of years to preserve it or whatever. And suddenly it's like four times brighter, and the color is just amazing. And just the, the little stuff that he does. And his his personal um, enemy is staples because people have stapled the back of things, and just have to you guys have to remove each one of them because you can't take the the frame out from everything else. And yeah. So he's always just yelling at the, <laughs> the, the staples. Um, Lieutenant Bodie Cooper says you can paint in three dimensions in VR. And I'm like, Oh, I've done that. I'm like, yeah, duh. <laughs> point. Like you, everything is in three dimensions in VR. That's the whole point of it. <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? But it's really, it, have you done I gave, it though? I gave him a hard time. I have, I have played with those 3D painting programs. They're really okay. cool. Yeah. But it's almost kind of like sculpting because you're building something, you know, in the 3D space, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I think, I think it's funny it to inches. say, I think it's funny to say you can do anything in three dimensions in VR. I just think it's funny. <laughs> it's funny to say Like that. it's kind of redundant a little bit. Yeah. Baumgartner um, restoration. I would say um, the, the water doesn't bring anything new to this. Yeah. I don't think it detracts. I just don't think it brings anything new. Yeah, I'm not going to do should it. Should I put, as I should I, yeah. It's up to, it's you, up to you, Aaron. Yeah, you, you, we're not going to judge you either way. It's your whiskey at this point. I'm still trying to. I mean, unless you put water in it, then we're going to judge you very harshly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, if you put like Coke in it, we judge you, I think. If you no. put like a drop yeah. of water, we're not going to judge you. But If you put Coke in, I'm driving over there right now. <laughs> <laughs> Taking don't, your final bottle away. I'll make some sort don't, of mix. Don't make him do it. He'll do it. No, don't. Oh. Cerritos. Yes, it's the uh, from Lower Decks. That was the the cool thing when we got uh, when Lower Decks premiered. They sent some of us a box of stuff, and it had Romulan whiskey, or it was whiskey with all the ingredients to make like a blue blue whiskey, and uh, like a t shirt and some popcorn, just a bunch of stuff. It was really cool. And for Discovery, I got like a cat on a stick. So I was like, I'm like, if you want me to believe some of the stuff that's happening, I need some whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> For a second there, I thought you needed to put a T-shirt and popcorn into whiskey to make it into Romulan. <laughs> yes, <laughs> whiskey. Yeah. Sorry. I that, did sort of. Uh, the segue was a little yeah. confusing for me. It's how yes, the Romulans do it. Mm -hmm. I've had I've had two and a half whiskeys now, so that's probably why. The cool thing is that also it came with a little mini red carpet. It was a strip of carpet that is exactly the size of like a Mac keyboard. <laughs> And you just put it over and it's got like CBS logo. And that was really fun. Hmm. That was a really cool premiere. And we found out the whiskey that they sent you was like some bullet whiskey Tennessee or um, just bullet brand. Bullet. Whiskey. Oh, bullet. But yeah. Yeah. But yeah. A, a fine, sort of Diageo now. A fine medium level uh, whiskey. Like I like bullet. Um, I worked on a Diageo yeah. app. I built that uh, gosh, like 10 years ago now, like one of the first iPhone apps. Hmm. And we spent many, many days having out bottles of alcohol and drinks and like people take photos of the drinks and you have to figure out how to get the background out from glass, which is yeah. not easy. It's just like, so there was a lot of uh, learning curve there on them, how to do photography. So for, for the, uh, you know, an app where you have it like moving around and stuff, but it was fun. Learned a lot about like all the different brands they had at the time. Captain Morgan, I think is, one of them captain morgan is a popular yeah. rum yes. right where they they have the guys with the you know doing the captain morgan i'm i will admit i've had captain morgan like i, I mean it's not yeah i, I like rum. Does, what is the diageo's whiskey do we know oh diageo has like they own a lot of whiskeys 28 right? malt oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, wow. they own okay. a lot oh, and, okay. they, <laughs> and even beyond whiskey they own a lot like you know so they're whiskey czars. They're booze czars, really. They're they're booze czars. They're booze czars. They're booze czars. <laughs> and it's not Italian. It sounds Italian. It's actually a British company. Oh. It's not spelt the way you think it is. It's D-E. We were the only people in New York, so. Uh, Lieutenant Bodie Cooper says you can check your email in three dimensions in New York. Yeah, thanks, Bodie Cooper. 
that feels <laughs> like <laughs> a bit of snark, I think. Do the you returning, uh, the remember, returning to snark. Yep. Do you remember uh, Disclosure, the movie with uh, Michael Douglas and Demi Moore? Oh, that's uh, based on a Michael Crichton novel. Yeah. I read the yep. book. Yeah, very. I they think had like, email opening in 3D. You had, he had the gloves and he just he does this and you see the envelope go boop and the, he reads the, and it's like, yeah, it was funny. Isn't that no the, one knows what I'm doing? <laughs> isn't that the one where it's like Japan is like an evil empire? That was the first time I was kind of like Michael Crichton. What are you doing? <laughs> like, where no, are you? that is uh, yeah, Rise, that's Rising Sun one. or Rising something. Sun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The the what I remember that is I had a a horrible headache that got a hundred times worse when we went and saw that movie just because it was just it wasn't great, and then it just had really bad cinematography, and you know. they also had an ice skating rink above the pool at USC or something. We're like, what? There's no ice skating rink at USC. I don't know why that was such a plot point, but I'm like, okay. I'm loving this whiskey so much that I don't want to move on to the next one. And I also do want to move on to the next one, but I just, it's so good. Mm -hmm. And like I said, 45 bucks, this is a good deal. Um, Yeah, I didn't want to tell you about it because I didn't want you to (laughs) buy out the stock and I couldn't. Mm. (laughs) See, I I admitted it. Because you know I'll buy every bottle, Andrew. I have to own it all. I do. Look, I, I've got so many bottles. I need to own them all. Um, <laughs> yeah, They're like really... Pokemon. Delicious, delicious Pokemon. Hello, There's something I really, right. really like about the first one, but this is like really drinkable. I'm, yeah, it really is. These have all been super drinkable, I think. Well, They've yeah. all been incredibly drinkable. I have, I in, suspect. In different ways. I suspect that the last one will be a little bit more. Because it's a stronger alcohol, like quite yeah. a bit more alcohol. So I feel like it's going to be a bit oh. more woo. But um, <laughs> let's see what we got. But right now, this is my favorite whiskey. Let's give Aaron's graphic another go. Yeah. No, it, it's mine. I still think like my favorite whiskey for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We haven't checked in with Thad. Thad, are you um, are you tasting this as well? What What's your opinion? Yeah. I am not tasting uh, oh, <laughs> because of the flu shot. I I, I don't uh, feel like drinking. I feel like not the best. Did you right get now, so. now? You had a flu shot. Did it? Did it affected you. It made you feel unwell. Yeah, it typically does. Um, I typically huh. get a lot of pain, um, and I just take it because it's. I'm getting old. <laughs> no, I had a flu shot last oh week, and God. it did, and I had We're no effect. Old. I had no effect from it. We're all getting old, dude. I've had That's, an effect from a flu shot ever since I've been like 13. So it's yeah, like it's, but some people do. Some people have yeah. like a, like especially arm pain. Like you get like pain in your arm. Oh yeah, it's sore afterwards. That's all I get. Yeah, I, n- I had nothing. I had nothing. But also like I get sore and then the next swelling. day it feels like I have a mini version of the flu. Mm-hmm. Sort of like achy and yeah, tired. I didn't feel anything like that. I mean, it, it, I have in the past had that happen where it's like my body's reacting to the dead uh, flu virus that it found and mm-hmm. it's attacking, but. Hmm. Which means it's working. We <laughs> all have different bodies. Yeah, like if I give blood, like it's just I just basically get up and they're like, "Oh, you should sit down for a while." And I'm like, "No, I'm good." And I'm like, "All right, I'll sit here and drink some juice." But yeah, have a I'm cookie. Fine. Have a cookie. I I'm gonna because I don't you know I might as well right. Hopefully yes, the um, won't be so. Bad are we having fun? Food. We are having yeah. fun. <laughs> the Aaron Harvey. Woo. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I didn't know I had a V in front of my name. Oh yeah, you're you're distinct. Yeah. You're not just a Aaron Harvey or an yes. Aaron Harvey. You are the hey. Aaron Harvey. There I'm is a surprising a number of Aaron Harveys with the middle name Taylor that do graphic design. I have found four of them. One of them is like the the uh, creative director for Dwell magazine or something like that. I'm just like, what? Like, you, should what? My, like to, you should change your name officially to you should change your name officially to the Aaron Harvey, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I make so. that did, officially your name. I think it was online early enough, though, that I got a lot of Aaron Harvey's as far as like websites and stuff like that. So, oh, you got lucky. Um, there was, um, yeah. I, and I, I don't know if it's one or several, but there's a lot of Andrew Pierce's that are big Anglican ministers. Um, huh. Certainly one in Australia that's, that's like when you Google Andrew Pierce, it's like this Anglican minister comes up first. You have sort of an Anglican minister sort of look to you. No. I would agree. <laughs> Thank you, my child. Yes. Yeah, and there's you definitely other. There's definitely other totally Joseph Limbaugh's that. out there, but I feel like I'm kind of like if you Google Joseph Limbaugh, it's like mostly me. It's you. Yeah, that's you're cool. the Joseph Limbaugh. You have good, <laughs> good marketing. Um, hey. I just I just got there first, and then I did a couple TV shows. It is six nineteen, <laughs> so we need to uh, move oh. on. There's there's a we great, gotta move on. Um, 
If you're not a subscriber to Outpost 13, please subscribe now. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you can do it for free. Um, you can subscribe to one channel and, and Outpost 13 is the one to do. There's so many great shows on this thing. That's cool. Including one later tonight, Friend Fiction. They're going to talk about Lord of the Rings and, and who they have crushes on in Lord of the Rings. Sounds great. Lord of the Rings. And then I'm at, going um, to at, moderate, at, so that'll be fun. <laughs> 30, 10, what, when, when does it come on? Um, but uh, I can't remember. But after that, there is Tales by Fire, which is a one-person RPG. Mm. Um, it, I'm I'm hooked, man. I'm I'm hooked. I'm so I so love that. Um, here's our last one. It's a Tormor. It's an independent bottler, John Milroy, and I've had this for a number of years too. It's very low. Um, space side. It's a space side. Focus, please. Focus. Focus. Why won't I'm reading, you focus? I'm reading the bottle. Oh, I see. You're telling you're telling the, the camera to focus. <laughs> yes. I thought you were telling me to focus. I'm like, focus, I am focus focusing. please. I am. It says space side. I'm Bum, focusing on focus. the bottle. There yeah, so go. I probably got this in 2016, uh, 52%. Um, it's a refill hog set. I'm just going to read it because that's not working very well. It's from Tormor Distillery, which is uh, not not well known. Is Tormor one of Diageo? Can you guys? Oh my God, we are going to get a, a hype train going. Is Diageo? Uh, does that? Do they own Tormor? Is this one of the components of um, Johnny Walker? I believe Tormor is a, a Romulan spy. No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it wants to look at your face. What does that mean? The camera. It was trying to focus on. Oh, I Andrew. see. Add the Bampshire. It's just like, like it, it wants to look at your face. Sounds like yeah. something horror. Based. Suddenly, like, it's like something from like Silence of the Lambs. Like it puts the whiskey in the glass, or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Buddy Cooper. You really creeped us all out. <laughs> we love you. Oh, it's it's a uh, Lovecraft <laughs> whiskey. <laughs> Maybe on Halloween that'll be what we'll what we'll do. There you go. This smells amazing, by the way. Yeah, when I first took the thing out, it just knocked me out. I was like, it, "Whoa!" Yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah. This once again though is very smooth to me. Like for for something yeah. that's like fifty two percent, like I'm surprising. I'm surprised at how oh. how sweet and and gentle it is. You know, I've had it before, and coming back to it is um, it's always a surprise. It's like coming back to a new uh, an old friend, and oh yeah, it's so oh, it's so nice, hmm. sweet. I'm gonna taste it. I mean, it's 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 so it's it's from a oh. bourbon barrel um, or a remade bourbon barrel. So saying that there's vanilla oh. in here is is so trope, but it does though. It's it there. does. This has got the vanilla front. Oh wow! What an interesting finish that <clears throat> has. Mm -hmm. Because it is very it's very smooth, and then at the end it's like, and by the way, boom. <laughs> you know, at the very end it's like. But that's a hit of love, and then it like fades away. It's it almost starts out honey. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it does. Oh no, Aaron's Something Aaron is favorite. frozen in Frozen Town. Uh oh. That's it's oh, usually no. brandy. I am. Oh, oh, he's back. What? There he is. He's back. Okay. It was so strong that I've you froze. Never had that happen you, before. It was so strong. Yes. <laughs> you dropped a bunch of packets. Yes. On the internet. <laughs> There's packets everywhere. <laughs> yes. Cool. Normally it does happen to my co-host. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, it wants to treat you gently. That's how I feel about Andrew Pierce. <laughs> when does Andrew ever not treat anything gently? He's the most gentle man I know. You shut up. I'll come over here. <laughs> oh, whatever, Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I love Andrew Pierce. Um, yeah, the fifty-two percent shows up in the finish. Like it's yeah. it's all long. everything's fine. Everything's fine. And then in the finish is like, oh, and by the way. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah. In case you forgot, this was 52% and the others were 46. Let me remind you. I'm trying to figure out what the kind of the end that note it's is organic. But yeah, there's something. It's a little bit like a I don't know. One of those hmm. maybe an amaretto. It does there it seems like there's a bit of almond in there. Mm. Some, something bitter? Um yeah. yeah. Almonds. Almonds are bitter. Arsenic. Yeah. <laughs> Arsenic tastes like almonds. Amaretto. No, no that um, mm. green fruit with kind of pointy things on it. Star fruit? No. Like the green fruit? Kiwi? It's green inside. Maybe it's, maybe it's a vegetable. I don't know. <laughs> Broccoli? <laughs> Kohlrabi. Kohlrabi, yes. What is that? I don't know. No, it's what not that. that? Oh. Oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, we get a meal delivery service, and one of the things we get is our kohlrabi noodles. They're like vegetable noodles. Oh, they're really good. I do. I'm gonna noodles. Google it because I can't. I can't think of what, okay. what I'm trying to 
Broccoli? No, no, that's too common. That's too common. Um, lemongrass? <laughs> No, it wouldn't be grass, lemongrass. No, Lemon, it, lemongrass tastes like lemon. It's, it's <coughs> very, very distinctive. Oh, wait. People are saying stuff. Finger limes, aloe, kiwi, romanesco, cactus, Cthulhu, honeydew, celery. Is <laughs> it celery? celery? Oh, it's celery. Yes, thank you. That's yeah. what it is. Is anyone putting science in this? Is anyone sciencing this? I have not. I have not. I'll do that, I guess. I feel like I'm willing to do it because it is quite – I, I, have a, I have high hopes for sciencing it. I'm kind of glad this was the last one because I feel like if I had this one first, I might have been knocked out of having the tasting. Oh, it's an the Italian liqueur made of this. What is, what is it called? What is made of it? Oh, it's interesting. Italian, uh, you know, digestive made of this. Um, oh, uh, like oh, bitters? Like what bitters are made out of? Yeah. Mm. Uh, hmm. Ooh, trying... It smells kind of spicy with the with the water. That's interesting. I think it smells it smells more spicy and less smooth, but I like it. Bamboo is wait, celery is a fruit? Is that true? No, celery's not a fruit. <laughs> it's the chat. They're lying to us. They've they've no, just, Oh man, I'm so I've know. had so much whiskey that I'm believing the chat. Bamboo? No, it's not honeydew. No, it's it's like a, a fruit with like little pointy things and it's not um is I want to say celery avocado, keto. Avocado, um, <laughs> are you are you are you lying to us right now? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm I'm so I'm so lost in what that flavor is. Um, cilantro. Celery does not have a seed bearing. No, if it was, I wouldn't drink it. Uh, <laughs> celery does not have a seed bearing structure as fruit does. So is celery even a vegetable though? It's really a like a like it's it's like a branch, yeah. right? I mean, isn't it a twig of like a? It's not a fruit. It's like eating the branch of something, right? Have you been ever worried about celery? Don't worry, many people have. Not as only, not as only. Wow, this is really weirdly written. A very flavorful food item. It is also it also divided people. You either love it or hate it, and there's no in between. It's celery. It has like, really. How do people feel about ants on a log? Anyone? Um, no, don't like it. Celery with celery raisins? belongs no, to the. That's, a, that's not good. A P I A C E A. Now. Acapai's family. I don't know that I can be trusted because this is the last whiskey of the day, but I like this with water. To me, it 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 brings out some stuff. It gives me some things that I like. You can't be trusted, Joseph. By the way, you got you got to try it, Andrew. You should try it. Try it with water. Science artichoke. Oh, An artichoke. That's what you were going for. That's what I was going for. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, I don't taste Brussels it. Brussels sprouts too. <laughs> No, perfect, perfect, <laughs> perfect. All that time looking for it. No, he doesn't taste it at all. Good, good. Now, here's the thing though. When I, I eat, when when you I say eat that, artichoke, I, it, to me, an artichoke, all it is is a, a delivery vessel for butter and lemon. That's all it is. That's yeah. all I taste. That's how I feel like, about lobster. Lobster is a delivery vehicle mm, for butter. There's no I, other reason to re eat it. We agree. I'm thinking that I it's also lobster, maybe though. a little bit of Brussels sprouts. Possibly. Okay. No, I see that. Yeah, I definitely taste some Brussels sprouts in here. Or like when you Anyways, put this Brussels good. sprouts this like good. and good char stuff. them in like the oven if you do a, like broiled. Yeah, I, Brussels sprouts are one of my favorite vegetables, actually. I will insult lobster like that every day of the week. Artichoke is the celery of the north. Probably my favorite lie <laughs> so far. Artichoke, as we all know, artichoke is the celery of the north. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's Lieutenant. We need to turn this chat into like a book. <laughs> <laughs> like facts you didn't know. Or something like that. Just... Right? I think a lot of anything with an exoskeleton is a bug. That's that's how I feel. Yeah. I don't like shrimp. I don't like crab. Oh, I like shrimp. Lobster, prawns, nothing. Well, I think lobster isn't lobster literally like very similar to uh, uh, cockroaches, like in, in like the, the genus or whatever. I, I feel like they're very similar. Yeah. So would you now maybe cockroach? I'm lying. I mean, we might as well lie to keep up with the we chat, might as well right? at this point. <clears throat> All seafood is um, what? Lobster yeah. is delicious. That's what lobster. <laughs> lobster, lobster, <laughs> which is of course genetically grown <laughs> lobster. Lobster. It's, lobster. It's been genetically engineered. It's lobster. Like, it's possible like, meat. Copyright that. This is lobster. Lobster. <laughs> Come on, that's perfect. Lobster. Lobster. It's like there's no shell and it's all meat. <laughs> oh, God. Those horrible creatures. Please do not genetically engineer lobster. I don't want to I don't want to say that. I don't want a lobster. I feel like Canadians well, I are make... well known to be the crawdad's natural enemy. Hey, um, <laughs> friend fiction comes on at seven, but 
so we have a little bit oh, of time right. to go over, and I think we're going to go a little bit over, but we'll be clear of them. So we'll, you know, if you're friend <laughs> fiction people, don't worry, we're getting out of your way. But we're that not is also me. Yeah. I to, I, I, I'm, I'm doing a moderation. Oh, you're doing, a, you're doing the moderation? <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> I'm just going to hey, say, everybody. like, I don't want to like step on friend fiction, but like Arwen and Galadriel, I would both, I would, I would be really into both of them because I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, because I mean, Arwen, you know, like she was like there was that video in like the in the 80s i think like what is it that like the um uh live tyler right like the, oh yeah the, from yeah, yeah. like from like the, the the what is it the the glam rock video um oh who is it who was the who was the, it was um white snake was it white snake which was which is as I a wanna, name for a I band that's a little on the nose and she's also like the daughter of um uh oh tyler uh what's the name the other the guy? tyler perry from the uh the movie. Uh, aerosmith oh. video yeah. no, yes right. maybe it was aerosmith are you looking aerosmith. on the internet aaron no i'm guessing i'm trying to figure i try yeah, i remember there was but a i remember the video was crazy and at the end they like yeah. they like they seduced this like farmhand and then they like left him to go and then you were just like but still he was lucky it was and then was, there was I, some sort of it was her and alicia too. silverstone i believe oh in the video wow like this is like old school and yet like and also the thing i love about Liv tyler like she is you know she has been beautiful throughout like you know it's like because i feel like um like a lot of times people feel like you know when women get older it's like they're they're not attractive anymore and it's like like she's always attractive i mean all it's women like are Steve attractive. perry was all always attractive like stepping yeah, away from that argument in vegas <laughs> and he still had the lips just like Liv. yeah yeah the reason i remember that is that somebody was just like talking to him apparently and just like oh my god and he's like this girl's so sexy and blah 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 it's like that's my daughter <laughs> so they're like oh all right it's happened to all of us was... i think no no it hasn't no it hasn't <laughs> what no i'm pretty talking sure to someone about how sexy a woman was and they go oh that's my daughter no that hasn't i've said that probably 20 times no no, my, my I can honestly say I have not. Though, did did do the classic though, where he went up to a woman uh, who had been to a lot of our shows, and uh, after the show, sitting down, talked to her, and, and looked over at her and said, "So when do you when do you do?" And she was like, "I'm not pregnant." I was like, "Oh, she never came back to another show. I don't know why." <laughs> wow, age freaks, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. <sighs> cool. So yeah. Uh, so Liv Tyler, and then. Uh... <laughs> Um, True fact. Galadriel, Kate. Um, oh man, I'm horrible. What's Kate Winslet. Yes. No. no. Not Kate Winslet. No. Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett. Yes, Kate Blanchett. Even like scary Galadriel, I think is hot. How do I know this? <laughs> this is weird. Like when she's like, I am. The Maybe the more fun. I drink, the more Lord of the Rings kind of. <laughs> well, that, that was the. That's gonna. You're gonna be moderating this. This is what they're gonna be talking yes. about. Is no, know. I know that. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, I Legolas I'm, I'm too. Legolas, like, to be like, of, like, also, like, how could you not like have a crush on Legolas yeah, or I Golem? I mean, Golem. He was okay, right? Is, I'm not not with, there with you. With Golem, no. come on, come on. Not even pre Golem, like Smeagol. <laughs> <laughs> like, not even, not even original. Like, he was creepy. You know, how about the yeah, animated on. one? <laughs> No, no, no. That animated show just brings me back to like being six or seven. It's like the show is nine hours long. You know, <laughs> it's like as a kid, I didn't understand. Yeah. Or The Hobbit. Uh, the greatest yeah. adventure is what lies ahead. No, that's this the lollipop gang, isn't it? We that, are <laughs> the lollipop gang. It's the same. The it's gang. the same. Those were both done by Burl Lives, I believe. Were they? <laughs> It's probably true. This is a show of lies. It's a show of lies. Except about the whiskey. Everything we say about the whiskey is true. Right. Is the whiskey even real? <laughs> yeah. It is clearly very I'm driving real. over now to take it back. How dare you? <laughs> okay. I'm going to drink it all now before you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Guess there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah. Well. well. Well, that first one, I just, I still really, really like that. I think that's probably my favorite of all of them. I mean, that's your favorite, your favorite whiskey. Yes, I believe. <laughs> Where am I? I don't know. <laughs> if that is rearranged just on the screen on, on uh, the, the feed, good. so I have no idea. That would be the uh, K O K A I Y O. I think it's <laughs> from, from the, I think it's Kayo. I, I took Kaya, two years Kaya. of Japanese in college, so I mean, I'm not, okay. I, I, and I'm, I'm not an authority, but I did take two years. But the yo is definitely yo, so okay. I think it's Kayo. Kayo, yo, I would trust yeah. you more than me. Kayo, 
Yeah. <laughs> Hi-yo. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that, isn't that what Carson said? That is what. Johnny yes, that was that was the joke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm showing my. I've age. had a, I've had oh, a good God. time. This was. Hey, this Aaron. Has been fun. Yeah, so it's fun. Um, we yes. probably have to wrap up shortly. Okay. So I, I just want to, I just want to get serious with you here for a second, and I, I just want to ask you a real personal question. And if 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 it feels too personal, you don't have to answer it, but uh, I'm hoping you will. Um, after tasting all these whiskeys here do you do you like whiskey hmm. i mean we talked about really you know subtle i mean um stuff earlier that was like you know we should keep to ourselves but i fucking love whiskey <laughs> <laughs> so do we yeah oh look there's confetti now and horns what, what are you <laughs> We fucking Bits love work better when you're not drunk or <laughs> tipsy. I'm like, what is the word I'm looking for? Okay, whatever. Moving on. No, um, it was. It's this is. It was a lot of fun, and this was super, super. Like it was uh, just getting to taste the different whiskeys was great. Yeah, because I don't and, normally do that. You know, you just like get a glass of whiskey or whatever, and then that's your evening. I, I want to thank you for being on the show. Um, I, I hope this does open up your appreciation of whiskey. Yeah, no, it really actually compared, because we were talking about that. My my first whiskey was like three years ago at Comic-Con. So <laughs> Matthew Pittner, put it in my hand. So um, <laughs> That bastard. Yes. He's not How watching dare he? that. Well, I, well no, technically my first whiskey was when I was a little kid and I tried to drink it like apple juice. And you thought it was apple juice. Yeah. Mm. Well, thank you for being on the show, Aaron. Thank uh, you. I really yeah. appreciate it. It was a lot you're, of fun. You're an awesome friend of ours. And um, yeah, it's so great to have you. I'm glad, I, you know, um, have a little FaceTime with some humans. Yes. Yeah. And, and thank you for the graphic that you made for the uh, the favorite whiskey. And um, we're going to have oh, yeah. a new uh, kind of splash screen logo from Aaron coming up shortly because he's made this beautiful bottle with our, it's all branded. It's Fantastic. We'll show you that. Thank you to the chat. Thank you, Tipsy Asparagus, uh, Body Cooper, uh, yes. Jagrom, uh, Puck uh, 90. Puck 90. Um, I saw Lissette in there earlier uh, and, and Paul 2D2. Um, everyone who joined us, thank you. And everyone who's watching this after the fact, I know that I have to watch Twitch shows after the fact as well, too. Steven um, Tyler. That's Liv Tyler's Tyler. Yeah, I know. Oh, yes. Yeah. Matthew Pittner is not a person, but a repeated meme emerging from our subconsciousness. That's well, that's right. no, that's a fact. That's yeah. totally true. Yeah. Hey, don't yeah. inject truth into our chat at this point in time. How dare you? <laughs> um, in closing, we fucking love whiskey and we, we hope you whiskey. will as well. Thank you, everybody. Stay tuned for Friend Fiction. Cheers.